Uni, you're going to talk to me first about uh, the condition and what he's suffering from. So Noah was born with a number of uh, serious medical issues ranging from a heart defect, severe laryngomalacia, chromosome deletion. Um, he has severe scoliosis, um, recently diagnosed with hydrocephalus. Um, he has a shunt, he's peg fed and he's waiting on spinal surgery at the moment. When you say peg fed, can you explain Chew, to our viewers fed, how yeah. that is? What yeah, is he a has tube? a tube in his belly so he gets fed by a tube because he can't swallow properly. Um, one of the reasons why we're going to the, um, America in the summer is to help with his um, swallow. Okay, so what part of America are you going it's to? It's Chicago now. It has changed because um, we had to cancel a few times due to him being very sick. So it's the same place. It's the Napa Rehabilitation Centre. So we go, we've, we're going for the one in Chicago now. Is it fair to say that the small class really... Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, Irish kids go there f and yeah, there's well great known success for that, isn't it? There is, yeah. It's very good. Okay, so in Valley Landers, of course, it is the Morning Snare Vintage Club and they're doing a tractor run, which is taking place on Sunday the 14th. And we're going to talk to Noel O'Brien. Noel, how did this idea come up in the first place? We, we were uh, requested last year, would we do something for it? We were committed at that to other events. So we said we'd do it early this year. As we said, we'd probably do a fundraising event every year. And we're classing this as our major fundraising event this year. We have two routes picked out, one for our tractors and We've another p route picked out for the trucks and cars. Okay, so we're going to go through the routes. So will we yeah. pick the, the truck route first because yeah. you're going on two different routes for safety reasons, obviously? Yes, and for the, because we travel at different speeds, it makes it a lot safer and a lot easier to man. So we're carrying the cars and trucks over the Galbury Road to Galbury, over by the Moor Abbey. On for Liz for Nan. When we go outside Liz for Nan, we'll turn right back up to the top road, back by Barn across, and um, back here to Valley Landers. So from this for now, I would say they'll probably come back by Dunk Road? Yes, back by Dunk Valley Road. Valley back over yeah. to Barn across. And, and, and straight here to the village. Straight back to the village of Valley Landers. Yes. Would that be coming via Box Cross? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of local geography is handy. Yeah. Um, the the, you will have a lot of help, first of all, from Angarda Shikana. Yes, we were speaking to a local guard here, uh, uh, Dave Hennessy, and he has arranged help for us on the day, and he said he'll be around himself with other members of the force, which will make it a lot safer for us and a lot easier to man. Yeah. So in Belly Landers, the Gathering Point, are they, where will they all congregate? Probably around the GA, the is it? GA field. Uh, the GA field has always been very helpful to us. Anytime we requested it, we had no issue. And if we ever have an issue, we can always approach James Hayes in Tondale Betty and he's very accommodating also. Noel, what's the interest like at the moment in the uh, take-up of vehicles? Good. we probably best we had in a long time. There's more talk about it and there's more uh, on social media about it than we had on any other run. So hopefully on the day we get a good turnout. Like if everybody's when it comes to a child like that, you get great support, you know. Where you and even at the last minute, if somebody wants to... Donate on or turn up in their car, they're more than welcome. So Who do they contact? Do if they want to contact you by phone or anything like that, no? Any member of the Vintage Club. Will be, and they're, they're all well known around. So anyone that wants to contact us, they will. Or they can contact myself. Yeah. Okay, do you have a GoFundMe page or anything set up as well along with this? No, not yet, but we, we are setting one up. I will have one there. We're going to no, log on to that. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just go over to yeah. Avril and she's going to have a chat with us now. You're going to explain about that. Yeah, there is a GoFundMe page from when myself and Jack were at it for Noah again. It's the same GoFundMe page. It's Noah's Long Road to Recovery. How's that going? It's going good. Okay. It's going good. There's a huge amount of money to be raised, isn't it? There is. There's a massive amount of money to be raised. We're asking anyone that either wants to hold a coffee morning or something like this, or even a night in a pub. It's just that way we can send Noah to Chicago. Is there an exact target that you're hoping to meet? or I'm Just not raise as much as you can? Just because to raise as much as we can to help Noah, Jay and Leah and Noah out while they're out there. Talk to me about how you got involved in the first place, because I think you're hospital buddies, yeah? 
myself and Una and Kate and Noah would be known as hospital buddies. Um, we give an awful lot of time in the hospital together, um, be it in and out. Um, when Una would arrive in, I'd arrive in shortly after, or I'd arrive there and she'd be shortly after us. Um, I suppose you develop friends that are going through <laughs> what you're going through. Um, so it's just, you can he- we all help each other out in the hospitals, be it if Noah wanted something, if I was out, it just works grand and simply. <coughs> well, I'm just talking about that. Una, you might just explain, you know, when you were talking about uh, in relation to meeting Avril and Cider, isn't it just so unfortunate that you have to meet under these circumstances? I know, I always say it to my friends, they'd be always saying we have a bit for a coffee in a long time and I said you've more chance now of meeting me in the hospital than anywhere else. But uh, yeah, we do spend a lot of time in hospital. How so. does it affect family? It's hard going, it's you've so much to organise, then we've Leah as well, you know, and we spend a lot of time in Dublin, she's with family and friends, because um, we had a long time there the summer again with him, um, up till December actually, so she would have spent a lot of time with friends and family then as well. Is um, there more the government could do for people like yourselves? They could, you, you shouldn't really have to fundraise for these things, it's such a pity, um, it'd be great if there was ways around it to try and get the kids the therapies they need if there was more therapies available here we wouldn't have to go abroad um like he hasn't had speech and language or physio in a good few years now because there's um a lack of resources so and sure he's so bright he's mad to he's mad to speak as you can hear um and he's swallowed in as well like he's he's kind of mad to eat but he just can't swallow properly the lack of resources it really is a major problem isn't it it is a big problem yeah it certainly is. Could mm. I go back to Avril for a, just for a moment on that? Avril, you're in a similar position. Oh, we are, yeah. You fight tooth and nail for everything, be it from feed that Noah and Kate both well, deserve. Why do you have to fight like that? You don't. In other words, don't get us started. Um, we'd be here all night. Like Kate's last admission, they changed. She was on one particular feed. We changed it to a new feed. I'm still trying to get the HSE to fund Kate's new feed. Um, it's a case of, oh, why was she changed? Why do we need to do this? Why rock the boat? Like, we're not the doctors. Sometimes people would say we'd know better than them. But um, it, the feed, if we were to buy their feeds without the HSE, you're looking at 2,000 euros a month. Like then you've their medications on top of it, the stuff that you use for the pumps, the syringes. Like you're looking at about six grand each month to feed the likes of Kate, Noah and many other peg fed children out there. There is a wide community of us. It's just it's wrong. Like Kate got the last time Kate got speech and language was junior infants. She's now in second class. Like, Noah's the same, there's no physios, it's a case of, oh, we've no staff, we've no staff. So, like, it's our kids that are losing the battle. They're all suffering, really, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, finally, if I could just maybe go back to Noel there for a second. Noel, what's your plea now at the moment to drive us out there? Come and help us, support us on the day. Everybody knows what they're going through. It's not fair that the families have to go through that. You know, just listen to the news tonight and to hear the waiting list for children. Look, it's not right. Government should be doing more. And then when the politicians come around, it should be emphasised on what people are going through. Now, we have the routes and all marked out, so you know, everybody knows now what the routes are. And again, you're all meeting at the GA Centre in Bellinandus. We're meeting at the GA Field at half eleven. We're leaving at one o'clock. We're leaving at one o'clock, all I can do is wish you all the very best of luck. It's taking place on Sunday, the 14th of April. It's only weeks away. Registration is 20 euros from half 11. And I would imagine the one is going to start at 1, one o'clock. At 1 o'clock. So there it is. Well done again to the Morning Stair Vintage Club. It's all in aid of this little man here. Okay, folks, I wish you all the very best. And again, thank you indeed for joining us here from the Daycare Centre in Ballylanders.